Also es gibt ja ganz verschiedene Bereiche, die man zum Postvandalismus zählen könnte. Also dazu gehört natürlich auch Protestkultur, Zerstörung auf der Straße, aber eben auch Graffiti. Und daraus kann sich oft auch die abstrakte Malerei wieder entwickeln. Ich habe das Gefühl, hier gibt es einen großen Schwerpunkt auf der abstrakten Malerei, wo die Buchstaben ähm, entweder sich auflösen oder gar nicht mehr vorhanden sind. Und das ist ein sehr spannender Aspekt, finde ich, im Postvandalismus, wie man da zu der, zum Expressionismus, zum abstrakten Expressionismus kommt, zum Gestischen, zum Informell. Und das erkenne ich auch hier wieder. I'm showing a Monomania, which is a project I did, uh, I created uh, last year. The works are a result of a performance. I was sort of searching for the the most efficient way to claim space. If you have roots or ever flirted with graffiti, you sort of, you, you take a place, a surface, and uh, not always everybody is very happy with that, so you search for the most efficient way to take that space. Describing your own work is always tricky, uh, although I find it quite cheerful and harmonical and balanced. Uh, there are some kind of rough moments, but the thing which I like the most about the work is that you can wander with your eye all over and find the new, new, new places, places you may like or not, feel comfortable or not, and it's like wandering around. At the end of the day, painting walls for me was always about the place, about the location filled with some kind of human action. People are talking, chatting, we share experiences, stories, and it's like a journey. So I think it found some kind of reflection in this work. The surface of the wall is not um, that I paint, typically. Normally I really search from flat, like a concrete wall. I like to paint concrete with generally a lot of water because I paint in a underground river most mostly in Marseille. On my painting I I think it's a, it's can be look totally abstract but I always uh, think about letter when I want to construct my, my painting even if it's not visible. I mean I mix a lot of water with painting. It makes some drips and it stay wet and I, I can always go inside or I can wash sometime, put out the paint. The, and discover again and see what's happened. But it's always about um, accident and uh, something I don't control. After, uh, let's say, 50 years of graffiti, I think the people and society sort of realize that there is lots of creative talent and potential. There is people who are able to use what they have learned on the streets, uh, whether it's technical or they, they've been through experiences which they can yeah, translate to autonomous art, which has a right to exist outside of the street and be uh, understandable or interesting for uh, another audience. It's a very high time to do exhibitions like this, to reflect on it, to educate also each other, educate the audience, share the experience, and find the new meanings, new senses in it. So I believe that this show is a great step forward in this direction. <laughs>